Ants are some of the most overlooked creatures on Earth. Tiny, unassuming insects that seem to have no purpose than just being there. But a closer look reveals ants as some of the most diverse, interesting, and even bizarre creatures on Earth. I'm Mikey Green, and my goal is to show just how little we really know about the strange creatures living their hidden lives all around us. One of my favorite groups are the ants. There are just so many of them that come in all shapes, colors, sizes, and yes, behaviors. Today, we are exploring the Florida scrub in search for one of the most unique ants in the entire world, one that employs a behavior so insane you probably won't even believe it exists, the skull collecting ant. These scrub ecosystems are home to some of the largest variety of ants in the world though, including one species that is often found in close proximity to our main target. Let's take a look. Right under this log right here is something that I really wanted to see. This is a colony of Odontomachus bruneus, or a native species of trap jaw ant that could be found here in Florida. Now you might be asking, why is this significant? Well, this is one of only two species that our main target ant, the skull collecting ant, uses to collect the skulls from. The other one being a closely related species called Odontomachus relictus. So seeing these Odontomachus is a good sign that their parasite might be nearby. While seeing these trap jaw ants is a good sign that our main target is around here somewhere, I see trap jaw ants all the time and still have never found a skull collecting ant. But underneath the nearby log, I spotted a colony of large black ants, this time without the huge gaping mandibles. Some little black ants under here. Oh my gosh. <gasps> yes. All right, what I have in this tube is something that I've been on the search on for a very long time, and I'm so happy to finally be finding. These are skull collecting ants, or Formica archboldi, a species almost entirely restricted to the sandy habitats of Florida, and a species with one of the strangest behaviors of any ant you'll ever know. That strange name might give it away. The skull collecting ant. And at first, that name might make it sound dangerous, but I'm gonna put one on my hand and see how it behaves in my hand. Here we go. The transfer is complete. This skull collecting ant is on my hand. And as you can see, it is doing absolutely nothing to harm me. Now with the name as scary sounding as the skull collecting ant, this species is actually surprisingly harmless to humans, as they actually fully lack a stinger. And they're pretty much defenseless against me, except for maybe being able to spray some formic acid. And this right here is one of the most unique ants that we get here in the state of Florida. You might have remembered how excited I was to find Odontomachus trapjaw ants, the native species out here, just a little bit ago. That is actually because these Formica archboldi, the skull collecting ants, specialize on killing and collecting the body parts, especially heads, of Odontomachus trapjaw ants. Specifically, those two native species I mentioned, Odontomachus bruneus and Odontomachus relictus. We do get an invasive species of trapjaw ant here in Florida called Odontomachus ruginotus. And some proof of that species invasiveness actually comes in the fact that these Formica archboldi actually do not target those Odontomachus ruginotus. They only collect the heads of those two native species, which is super interesting. And this is actually the only species, at least here in Florida, that is known to have this extremely strange behavior. And it's actually been explained as a method of chemical camouflage. These ants basically masquerade themselves in a few different ways as trapjaw ants because those are very unfavorable prey for animals that would otherwise be eating lots of ants, like lizards. Trapjaw ants have both a very powerful bite and a nasty sting. These Formica archboldi have neither. So unusually for the genus Formica, these are all black, just like those trapjaw ants. Most of the other Formica species that we get here in Florida are orange or brownish in coloration. This one being unique in its all black coloration. And number two, and most interestingly, using those collected heads, with those chemicals being found on those two native trapjaw ant species being pretty good indicators of what they are. These formica being able to steal the heads of trapjaw ants can also steal the chemical signals that trapjaw ants use. And even potentially 
integrate the chemical structures of the Odontomachus into their own bodies. Like I said, trap giant ants are pretty unfavorable prey, but this chemical camouflage also helps them better sneak up on new unsuspecting trap giants, facilitating these formica archbolide to get even closer and use that formic acid spray to subdue the trap jaw ant before taking its head and bringing it to the colony. Isn't that such a strange behavior? I've never heard anything like this. Taking the heads of other species and trying to look like that other species to have an increased chemical camouflage to not only appear, but also smell like that species. It is just so strange to me how this ended up evolving and only in this one species here in Florida. Now these ants don't have all the power to themselves. There's actually a species called Polyergus oligergus, a species of Amazon ant that only lives inside the colonies of Formica archbolide. That's right, these ants that have a sort of host parasitic relationship with trap jaw ants have their own host parasitic relationship of their own where they are the host and they're being parasitized by yet another ant. What a strange little relationship going on. Now if I can find Polyergus oligergus sometime, that would definitely be its own video. But I just thought I'd bring it up, as it's such an interesting three-way interaction between three different native ant species here in this Florida scrub ecosystem. I absolutely love finally finding this rare skull-collecting ant, Formica archbolide, and sharing this amazing ant with you. As this ant is not very commonly seen by people due to its relatively secretive nature, and this ant is just one of the most unique insects that can be found here in this Florida scrub. That is exactly why I love going out here and just searching for creatures, because you never know when you'll just come across something so insane, like an ant that collects the heads of other ants. That is just insane to me. But let's put this beautiful ant right back with her colony so she could keep looking for trap jaw ants' heads to steal. What a beautiful creature. If you enjoyed this video, then make sure to check out this video right here, where we find a population of hybrid fire ants in northern Georgia. Are they more dangerous or invasive than regular fire ants? Let's find out. See you there.